Welcome back to What You Missed, a video game news show where I discuss articles that occurred within days to a week ago that you may have missed that are important to the video game industry and possibly to you. So if you didn't know, there was a bit of confusion with a LEGO City Undercover Switch Edition and that requiring some massive download. A person on Reddit submitted a photo of LEGO City Undercover detailing that it actually required an internet connection for the physical box copy. Now a lot of people were confused about that because it's not really a multiplayer centric game. So when you're saying it's required, you're saying that you can't play it offline. So a lot of people started getting worried about that. On the back of the box, it ended up saying that it was 13 gigabytes storage required for game download. And a lot of people thought, oh, okay, so if I buy this game, I'm going to have to download 13 gigabytes to my system for whatever reason. And it was really, really confusing because the eShop lists it as only being a 7.1 gigabyte download. So that means that you probably had download a post patch or something that added up to around 13 but what ended up happening is that WB did clear up the confusion and they stated players who purchase Lego City undercover on Nintendo Switch at retail do not need to download the game to play all players who purchase the game can download the small content update patch with an internet connection and that would make up for the difference between the eShop and the physical retailer stating it, it was 13 gigabytes yes you can play your game apparently without needing an internet connection. I don't think this is a bad story. I think it's good that a lot of people understand that the Switch isn't forcing people to download updates with the physical versions of the games. I think a lot of people were extremely worried that if you got a physical version of the game, you would have to connect to the internet like many games nowadays, which force an update on you, where Nintendo has traditionally been hands-off with the user profile, and you can just put it in a physical game and not need to update it to play it first. And a lot of people get worried that Nintendo is going to go that path because generally speaking, it's really annoying to have to update your game instead of just being able to launch a game that you bought without requiring a massive internet connection to download 13 gigabytes. I know some people who live in rural areas too that don't have a lot of internet that's not only free of gigabyte restrictions, but also fast, which means 13 gigabytes could translate into several days before you could play your game. So I really really appreciate that you don't have to download these updates on these physical versions of the games. That's what the physical version is for, not only for collector's sake and preservation, but also so that you don't have to use the internet to play the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of the story? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and share it to a friend. Really appreciate your support. I've been your Pro Mario. Signing out. As always, good gaming. God bless. Thanks for watching.